Yeah, let's I'm go. A mosquito I'm, hunter. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to light some citronella candles after that storm. My goodness, but here's the deal. All right, the Skeeter meter is in the extreme range. It's the highest of the year. So yes, we're going to really have to fight the bite, so to speak. And keep in mind, just a bottle cap of water uh, can create thousands of mosquito eggs and larvae that uh, can bite. So we're going to dump everything. Make sure you check the flower pots in your, your gardens out there. And uh, we're going to do that. We're going to dump the water, wear the light clothing, use the eucalyptus. You can use the oil. OK, all right. We don't just have to use the candles out there. And keep in mind, they're most active at dawn and dusk. And the reason why it's extreme now is, well, we've had a lot of rain. In fact, my goodness, South Tampa yesterday, they felt like they were going to be washed away four, five inches of rain. It was incredible. And notice for the year, now up close to 25 inches of rain. But the column to really look at, the yearly departure, we're now in the surplus, almost three inches above where we should be. What a change. Now today, the golly washers are back, all right? So the mosquitoes will be feeding off this. We've got a, a slow start on the rain today. It's the runners go. So you've got the green light go for all of our runners, our primary runner index, uh, seven out of 10. And the reason I had to lower it a little bit is because by noon, we'll keep an eye of the sky. Uh, we're gonna see things really heat up feeling like 100 with some building cumul cumulonimbus clouds. And then those clouds could reach to 50,000 feet by 4 o'clock. And that's when I have most of our lightning, our big impacts today with that high of 93 with that southeast wind. In the tropics, we'll have much more on the tropical update. If you're just waking up, still a Category 5 on barrel with 165 mile per hour sustained winds. Unfortunately, another landfall likely as we head into Jamaica on Wednesday afternoon as at least a category three and then a weakening trend before it heads toward the Yucatan. But the big thing is no impacts here close to home. In fact, in our seven day forecast, the big story we always talk about in Tampa this time of year. Hey, if we don't have any tropical trouble, it's a pretty decent July 4th week, and that's what we see. Although the next couple of afternoons, it's going to be a stormy finish and that could linger into the evening. So the highest rain this week would be today 60% and then tomorrow it's 70% and then we'll lower uh, the rain a bit for 4th of July. OK, so we're going to get our plans in. That's what this means and more of a splash and dash kind of pattern Thursday into the weekend. Look at those hot highs, though. Make sure you hydrate low to mid 90s. Let's verify the forecast. We've got the red, white and blue there looking at beautiful Tampa waking up to 83. So as you get out the door, Yes, you're going to feel the heat and the humidity. It's air you can wear. Make sure the kids have plenty of water for camp. Reason why we're going to see an uptick in the storms today. It's the east wind and that east can be a beast as far as storms go this afternoon. And a couple storms could be on the strong to severe side with what we call downburst winds. We'll talk more about that this morning again. So not your typical storms. They could be a little supercharged by late today. In fact, let's look at our future cast. I know this is important. So two o'clock more of a hit or miss shower and then notice how things really light up between four and eight o'clock with most of our storms. Seven day forecast. Here we go. I showed you. Here's another look at it. Uh, highest rain chances the next couple of afternoons. But notice as we head through the week again, no washouts. That includes if you have plans on the 4th of July, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Sarah.